My name is Sunny Shaw. I'm the director of the Kids' Clothes Closet at the Emanuel Episcopal Parish, 519 Washington Street, Braintree. About 1991-92, we did a survey of what was needed in the community, and we found that we had food pantries, but we had nothing for clothes. We need a place where families can come and get, you know, good, clean, usable clothes, wearable clothes for their children, and save money. Our clothes are all sorted for cleanliness and wearability, and if we wouldn't put it on our children, we don't put it in the bins. So we're pretty careful about what we, we put in here. We give you a basket, and you pick out your own clothes, and a lot of times the kids come, and they pick out their own clothes, and they're, they're much more likely to wear it if they pick it out themselves. So we found that uh, the kids really love coming because they love their shopping, and you know they, they tell everybody that they got such a great deal, you know, and it, it's, it's, really, it's good for the children, it's good for the parents. Wouldn't some young boy love to wear this? I think so, yep. So it's nice and clean, and it's in good condition. It's a very safe environment because we don't invade their privacy in any way. They, all they have to do is tell us their name um, and, and how can we help you, and we, we do help them. So we get clients from, from all over the South Shore. Um, we'll get calls from people who are in an emergency situation, and I, yeah, I'll open the closet for anybody who needs anything. If there's a fire or a flood, or sometimes people through no fault of their own uh, are homeless and they don't have a lot of clothes because it's in storage so they might come in for a couple of outfits to get them through. We ask for a two dollar donation but that money all goes back to the schools. Since our inception we have been helping school nurses because they are the ones who deal with families that either are in crisis or are you know in need in, in some way and so we give gift cards to the school nurses to buy underwear and socks and sweatpants for, for the children in the school who who need them and oftentimes you never get them back so it's a renewable resource. You don't have to come for yourself if you're fine but you might know a neighbor or a friend or someone that you've heard through your church or your social organization that's going through a hard time. And we also serve grandparents. That's one of the wonderful things about us is that sometimes grandparents um, have custody of their grandchildren or their children are visiting from out of state or you know out of season so they can come and get a couple of outfits for their grandchildren. Um, who are staying with them, and then when they're through, they can bring them back. The other thing that you need to know is that we serve the greater Boston area. There's nothing like the clothes clo this closet anywhere in the greater Boston area that I know of. Look at that, isn't that great? I mean, really, if I were 12, I'd wear it. So we encourage everybody to come. It's not for the poor. I think people have the misconception that you have to be poor to use the closet. No, not at all. Clothes are so expensive now. If you come to the closet, all we really care about is how we can help you. Why do I do it? Well, it's a long story. But the, but the bottom line is that when I was a child, my parents were immigrants from Lebanon, and we had a very, very difficult time. My parents were very ill. They couldn't care. Um, care for us in the way that they would have wanted. And so we, I'm the youngest of four, so um, it, times were very, very, very hard. And I was not able to get the things that most kids um, were able to have. I had the hand-me-downs plus the hand-me-downs. And so I said, you know, if ever I had a chance, I would want to do something for children so that they would never feel embarrassed about the way they dressed. And that really was the that was the motivation behind the whole thing. When you're a child, your appearance is everything. And when you're an adult, you can understand why you couldn't have what you wanted. But as a child, all you really want is that, whatever it is, that dress or that pair of shoes or that new jacket. You know, it's, it's like going back into your childhood. When I look at the children who come here and who are just so thrilled to get the coat or the dress or the pair of shoes that they have picked out themselves, and their faces light up and say, oh, I really love this. It's like I'm feeding that little, that child that once wanted whatever it is that, I, you know, I remember wanting. Mm -hmm.